What's up guys, T-Rex and Mr. God right here with T-RexMedia.com, your one-stop shop for all things T-Rex. I do have a second channel right now, which I'm going to link right down below. That's where I drop all of my music now, all of my mixtapes and original songs. It's all right there. Be sure to check it out. Tell me what you think about it. Now, if you missed my previous video, which I'm just going to link right up here, I talked about the Marquee Carbon and today I have with me the Marquee Chromium. Now, it's also a USB condenser microphone that actually has a built-in channel into it. So, if you're an artist or you're someone who does voiceovers, if you're someone that does streaming, live streaming, or you just want to do something, or you're looking for something, they can actually just use for YouTube right here, or any sort of mobile recording, or any sort of voiceover recording, then this might actually just be another alternative to the market element carbon. And although quite a little bit more expensive, coming in at about 200 bucks, let's find out if this is the perfect USB microphone for you. Now let's talk about the build quality and the design of this microphone. Now. First off, I'm gonna tell you, be really careful with this because I did think mine just a tinsy bit while I was trying to grab it, but on top of that, the microphone itself does have a lot of weight to it and it's actually built like a tank. It's actually quite heavy though and it's also quite strong because there's a lot of metal all around this microphone. Now, you do have a lot of placement of buttons right here, which I really love. I love all of the placement of the buttons right in front of you, something you can actually see. You do get a mirror switch right up front, which is absolutely amazing for when you actually, if for example, if you're in a session or you're doing like a voice call because I did use this to take a couple calls because I'm working remotely right now I did use take a whole calls and when you're not speaking then you just turn that mute switch so you do not get some background interference into the call which is absolutely really nice you do have a pattern selector and you also have gain settings right there and each individual knob up up there is actually for something which is really spread out nice layout nice everything excellent work marquee with this one now on top of that I do really love the grip at the bottom of the microphone because we prop this on a table which unlike the Marky Element Carbon, I keep comparing this to the Element Carbon because that is like the next best thing to a USB microphone that can actually get. And if you do want to see a comparison between this and that one, then be sure to let me know in the comment section right down below. And also, Marky did actually send this over for me to check out. So right up there in the description box right down below, I'm going to have a list of all Marky stuff just right there for you to check out. There's a whole host of this. If you want to get this, it's all just going to be there. Just go right down there and shop Marky. Thanks a lot for Marky for sending this right again. So now let's get back right to it. Now, the design does sound really, really nice from everything I mentioned, but then let's talk about some of the design cards. Now, I already mentioned one of it, which is that the grill is really fragile, but on top of that, it does feel a little bit wobbly. Right from when I did the unboxing video, if you actually missed that, I'm gonna link it right up here. I did mention that it was a little bit wobbly right from first impressions, like something wasn't actually screwed on properly. Now, unlike the Element Carbon, you don't have that many polar patterns to select from, but it's still really nice that you do have multiple. I think you have about four of them, which is actually really, really nice. Now, the built in stand is really cool, but it doesn't get that many sort of adjustments. That you would actually really hope and wish that it would again comparing it to the element car honestly seriously i'm just going to do a comparison between both of them so if you don't want to miss that be sure you subscribe and turn your bell notification i'm going to give you a full comparison between these two microphones because i had an excellent time working with and still working with and using both of them now i did mention all of the knobs and placement is actually really really good but it all feels like they try to cram so much into a very small body so everything feels really tight and i do have big hands so if someone trying to change something or screw something all of the buttons kind of feel like something else is in the way and on top of that they're actually really sharp to the touch i do love the fact that they're metal but they're all really sharp to the touch and sometimes it kind of feels like it's just hurting your fingers right there now let's talk about some of the connectivity options right there now you do have usb type c on board with this which ensures zero latency which i did not experience any sort of latency with this one absolutely amazing that's one two you do get an instrument port with this which is actually amazing if you want to take in voice and you want to play a guitar or something or plug in something else into it it's really amazing and that is actually a really nice one there in terms of connectivity because this is meant to be an entire studio on its own without you having to go out and look for an audio interface now you also get a headphone jack with this one and it's actually really nice that it's not the big type it's actually the little type of connector now if you do have professional studio headphones you can just take off that big top off of it and just use this with that or if you have any sort of headphones just lying around it's going to work with that i did test with about three headphones two studio and one traditional conventional listening headphones all of it it did work really really fine with each and every single one of them now fourth thing is that you do get an aux port now if you do have sound external sound from another device they want to pass through this channel you can actually just use that aux port to pass that 
sound through you now this is really gonna come in handy if you're actually working with someone remotely and that person sends you vocals or something you're gonna just pass that through the AUX and then pass it through this device while you are recording your own voice or instrument and then pass that through your door how amazing is that this is really gonna come in handy for a lot of people who do remote working or who actually work with a lot of people that actually really far from them and they need something like this to work with now speaking of working it's actually compatible with any sort of door that you can actually get now if you do get this you can actually get away from OEM and also Pro Tools with this but on top of that it's just compatible with Studio One and GarageBand and also definitely any other door that you do have lying around it's definitely gonna work with this one you just have to go in and, there and select the one that you want to use and it's definitely Definitely gonna work with this now let's move into the sound quality of this device which is really gonna surprise you but first did you know that Jade Black has actually dropped this summer collection now it might not be all of that summary anymore but you can actually still get this in blue light prescription lenses or in sun glasses or any other sort of design that you actually do want to get this now this isn't the only design there's a whole host of them on the website i'm gonna leave a link right down below so you can actually go ahead and just check it for j black on top of that i can actually throw a 10 percent discount for you guys if you do want to get this it's gonna be linked right down below go ahead check it out now let's dive back into the sound quality of this amazing microphone now for your sound quality you get the legendary onyx preamp circuitry with this one which ensures amazing sound amazing input nice intake now with every single polar pattern tested individually this actually produced amazing feedback for me but it's not all that great the unboxing was actually made with this that is the voiceover of the unboxing was actually made with this now that will give you an idea of what it does sound like but just in a sec we're gonna do a live demo right here now it's actually a lot better than the em91c from Marky itself the sound quality is actually really really better than that one check out my review on that i'm gonna link it right up here so you can actually check it out but speaking of this one the processing is really good because of the input channel the processing is really really nice when the sound goes through through any sort of polar patterns it comes out really really great but i kind of feel like marky should have actually done a lot more to make the sound quality a lot better than this than what it is in fact you know what listen to it for yourself so this is a little bit like what you can actually expect from this microphone now this is just me being about yay part from the microphone as you can actually see now if i go in just a little bit closer you can actually hear what the sound is like right there and if i come back a little bit that's just about it so this is more like a really realistic scenario that you would find yourself in with recording with this so there you can actually see now one thing i do really like about this is that it's really good at rejecting external sound one con with this is that when you do use headphones if you're trying to mix with headphones it doesn't get so loud with the headphones I actually maxed out the volume all the way it didn't get all that too loud with that and i give you one very nice pro tip and one nice recommendation if you want to make the sound quality a lot better get a pop filter now you could just use any sort of pop filter but i would recommend the pop filter from marky that's showing up right here on your screen right there i'm gonna have that link right down below as marky accessory you gonna just go and pick one of those for yourselves it's gonna fit this really real nice and it's also compatible with this but if you want to use any sort of pop filter i'm actually gonna order that one myself because of the timing of when i'm recording this video i can actually just show you on camera right here but probably when i'm doing the comparison between this and the marquee carbon i'm actually gonna have that in right here and i'm just gonna show you guys but even if you use any sort of pop filter just like this one i got back here it's gonna work really fine it's gonna actually make a difference in the audio quality for you guys now what is my final verdict on this well um let's just put it like this now you know when you marky built this and i'd say they were aiming for an a plus on every single category of this but they kind of just ended up on a solid b on every point the microphone checks a lot of boxes no doubt it does check a lot of boxes and it's actually really really useful but in terms of design connectivity everything build quality and all of that and then voice and all of that i feel like they try to cram a lot of things into one device where they should have actually just tried to make something that would have been extremely unique if that kind of makes sense sorry marky but i just gotta be honest here because it's really really good no doubt i really love it no doubt it's really gonna come in handy no doubt the features are actually like really amazing and mind-blowing but in terms of everything that it does offer it doesn't just do its best at everything but it's 
for like an overall package it's okay it's nice it's way above average right there so i can actually highly recommend this for someone who's just starting out if you're someone who wants something that you're not looking for anything that's way too fancy you don't want something that's way too expensive you just want something that gets the job done but it's not gonna blow your mind in any so it actually did blow my mind for the first day but after using it and using it and using it i started picking up on all of these tiny little quirks about it but if it's even if someone's not just gonna blow your mind absolutely go for it it's not the cheapest in the world because when you factor when you're trying to get an audio interface a microphone and some headphones on top of getting just this one where you kind of still need to get headphones you kind of still need to have a computer then the price starts to look like what exactly are you doing so it's kind of left to you though if you want to pick this microphone from Marky, but actually I would tell you that this sounds a lot better than this one but if you do want to do it and then get an audio interface from Marky, then again you want to just get a microphone from Marky. if you kind of get where i'm going to do it so it's kind of a personal preference here and it's kind of left to you guys but i can actually just tell you that this is really amazing for a usb microphone thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already be sure to subscribe button right down below Give this video a thumbs up so it doesn't make it a lot easier for a lot more people to actually find this video and actually helps me to actually make a lot more videos like this one, okay? Thanks a bunch so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, turn on your bell notification and let me know in the comment section right down below what you think about this, if you're actually thinking of getting this or if you're going to or if you're not going to. Depends. Either way, I will see you around. Peace out.